Heard a lot from healthcare workers about how they need more protective equipment and testing while working on the front lines. The governor's plan to bring 200 million masks a month to our state is in the works, but now a group of local doctors is taking matters into their own hands. And Stella Escobedo is back with us here now with more on this. Stella? Yeah, Eric, these are passionate local doctors advocating for our health care workers. They want to make sure that their voices are heard, their concerns are addressed. So Dr. Mila is a board-certified internal medicine physician working at UC San Diego Health, and she founded the Health Care Workers Advocacy Group called Frontline PP Now. The goal is to share the stories of health care workers, let them know they're not alone, while also advocating for change on the government level, state, and federal. She says our health care workers are a resource. We need to protect and continue to provide them with what they need. We really need to be on top of it and continuing to bring supplies to the areas that are hardest hit. Um, and even if you get, you know, 200 million N95 masks today, um, you know, these hospitals are using these masks at a rate that they've never used them before. And so there needs to be an ongoing stream of supplies going to the hardest hit areas around the country. And Dr. Mila says Frontline PPE Now has also started working with other organizations that have sprung up since the pandemic. They're collecting data across the nation to make sure the PPEs are going to the area's hardest hit at the time and then connecting Frontline PPE Now supporters with the organizations. And she also tells me two of her colleagues, her and two of her colleagues, have started a petition calling for better protection of health care workers. It now has more than 1.6 million signatures on change. Change.org. And Eric, yesterday, President Trump did address PPEs, right. and he said we are, quote unquote, in good shape. He also said 500 million more masks are on the way to the U.S., and that's just one order. So hopefully, hopefully all of this will help. Yeah, we do need more of those masks, though. I mean, you've seen some of these doctors that have just welts on their faces because they've been leaving the mask on all day in cases where they usually would switch those out, you know, as they eat, go to the restroom and, and, and stuff. So uh, we need more of that equipment, that's for sure. Glad to see they're doing that.